You're right, two of the children of Bodom, who are widely reported as being inspiration for the band. What have been the sort of tour highlights so far? What's it like playing with your heroes? Um, they've been really cool to us. We're going to hang out with them in Finland after the tour probably. There's a bunch of nice guys. Uh, yeah, um, three of the guys in the band are definitely huge Bodom fans. So it's just been a nice experience overall. Uh, they, they sell out in Europe pretty well, so it's been awesome exposure for okay. us too. Have you been in the UK before yourself? Yes. With yeah. Only? yeah. We did a tour uh, earlier this year in the UK. Played Manchester all over with uh, Delino. Okay, what is Xylo synth and what does it c- contribute sonically to only sound that maybe you didn't have previously? Uh, it contributes a lot of uh, solos and uh, digital sounds and uh, melodic sounds. You have you feel that it sets your sound up with a sense of uniqueness that a lot of other bands wouldn't have? That's a good question. I don't know. I think of bands that have uh, keyboards can pretty much do similar things that we do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, your only cure video featured Randy from um, Lamb of God, another band who guys are fans of. Just wondered how you, you, you hooked up with him and how was he making of the video? Yeah, we're huge fans of Lamb of God. Um, I'd say that's one band that we all really oh, get down on. Yeah. But uh, uh, through our producer Josh, uh, who produced several Lamb of God records, uh, asked him if he would do it. And he obviously said yes, so he's just a really cool guy. Did you get a chance to hang out with him? Many oh. times, yeah, I've been on stage with him, hang out with him. Uh, he, he loves to give me life lessons. <laughs> um, how would you market or sell your band to someone who's not familiar with who you only are? How would you describe yourselves? Very heavy, savage, progressive metal, I would say. Um, like a more savage between the barrier and me. Almost, you could do it. Okay. in every respect, from like uh, just the shred. It, it throws back to like some Pantera, Van Halen vibes at times, and uh, yeah, you know the heaviness. Uh, my vocals very guttural at times too, yeah. so just savage metal in every sense. Okay, you um your music on stage and in the studio is pretty brutal, but how do you guys unwind? I mean, what do you kick back with? Do you have Weed. mellow, secret mellow listening that you go away and <laughs> what? He has, he's uh, a... uh, yeah, we listen to everything. Uh, I like to listen to a lot of instrumental music and some like Sean when I'm off stage just because I'm hearing myself scream all day. After a while it gets really annoying, so I, I like to listen to instrumental stuff. Um, I don't want video games, good food, I don't know, everything, man. Okay. Coming from Canada, I mean, how, how do you, you guys um, get started out? Was it difficult to get basic gigs? I mean, even to get gigs further afield? I mean, we're, we're a band that didn't really start off in, in Oni. Um, like a lot of the guys have played and have been pretty successful in different musical ventures and stuff. Yeah. So when this band came about, we just like started online, just all messaged each other. It was my initial idea. And uh, no, it wasn't hard to get gigs for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pros and cons of being a professional musician in 2017? Uh, pros, you get to play, write, uh, record music for a living. Hang with your heroes? You can't beat that. Yeah, you get to meet a bunch of awesome bands. Uh, cons, you definitely leave everything behind. Uh, it's going the road. So. Personal high points and low points of your career to date? High points, that's a good question. Um, Highs. This Bowden tour is definitely a high. Uh, recording with Randy is definitely a high point. Um, low point. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say there are too many low points to be yes. honest. Yeah. What in your life are you most proud of? Is it something that you created artistically, musically with a band, or maybe something else? Huh? Okay, sorry. What in your life are you most proud of? In my life, am I most yeah. proud of? Definitely yeah. being a dad yeah. um, is what I'm most proud of. Uh, yeah, and the band stuff's for you too, but yeah. What gives you inspiration for the band's songs? Uh, fuck. Anything? Honestly, anything everything. Specific? I mean, um, do you read a lot outside? 
Yeah. Uh, what do you draw your inspiration by, from? Like, uh, um, a lot of dark stuff, like everything from like Edgar Allan Poe to like, uh, horror movies. Um, I don't know. That's kind of a loaded question. Everything, man. Other yeah. bands. Okay. What's next for you after the tour ends? You got more dates lined up. We're gonna. Uh, Devin Townsend. Right. In uh, North America. Met him before. If you worked with him before, yeah. toured with him. No? I'm not. But. I should be. I'm a fan. Should be inspiring. That'll I'll be, be very inspiring. Finally, final question: Who would you yourself like to sit down and interview? Maybe a personal inspiration, hero, icon. Not even maybe mus- a musician. Someone that's inspired you. Who would I like to interview? That's a great question. Uh, it'd be very cool to interview Corey Taylor uh, from Slipknot. Yeah. Okay. Musician. That's great. Thank you very much. I'll let Thank you. Go. you.